An enemy spot summon Splash Mage. Splash Mage summons again. Yo. Tamayas just pulled the Link 4 out of his ass. My man Tamayas, my favorite Master Duel editor. <laughs> he is going to be showing us hopefully a good game. Hopefully, because sometimes he be fumbling the bag. I want you guys to let me know if he is fumbling the bag on this Marine Test replay or if he is taking out the trash, okay? Fumbling the bag or taking out the trash. And of course, if you guys have a replay you want on this channel, go ahead and follow all of the information down below in the comment section as well as the pinned comment. This time around, he's going to be playing Marine Cess. One of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh decks, right? Marine Cess is built off of one card link summons and it can exceed summon into some really, really good boards, okay? He's going to open Marine Cess Seahorse, Sleepy Maiden, Cyanet Mining, Infinite Impermanence, and Marine Cess Wave. So... I think it's a pretty decent hand. Too many monsters, but decent hand. We'll see how he plays it. He's going first. We'll go Cyanide Mining. That's going to get Ash Blossom. <laughs> We're going to get Marine says Blue Tang and then Normal Summon Blue Tang. Okay, this is all going according to plan. We'll then link off the Marine says Blue Tang into Blue Slug here. I love this card. This card is, it, it says, add a monster from your graveyard to your hand. I love it. He'll then go Blue Slug, target his original card he sent with Cyanide Mining. And then Blue Tang to be able to send. Or Reveal. So a Blue Slug will get Pasculus, Seahorse, and Blue Tang. And get Pasculus. That's for next turn. We'll then summon Blue Slug and then Link Summon into Sea Angel. Okay. Alright. Tamias, then use Sea Angel to get Battle Ocean. Okay. Alright. <laughs> We're then going to go ahead and Link Summon into Marine Says Coral and Enemy. An enemy will be able to special summon Seahorse back to the side of the field. Then we'll go Battle Ocean. Okay. We'll then go Sleepy Maiden targeting the Seahorse. Basically what this card does is that while it's in the monster zone, the targeted card cannot be destroyed by card effects. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, target one Marine says card you control. Special summon for this card from your hand. If you do, it gains the effect. While this card is on the monster zone, the targeted card cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. You typically want to target your Battle Ocean to prevent your Battle Ocean from being destroyed by card effects, but... Targeting the seahorse, I'm I'm curious. But maybe he's getting rid of this card so it doesn't matter, right? And then it also says you can banish this card to target one marine says link monster you control. Equip one marine says link monster from your graveyard, which is really good because you can equip cards like Coral and Enemy, which allows you to be able to gain Coral and Enemy's graveyard effect. So we'll keep going. Oh, it doesn't matter. He's linking off the Sleepy Maiden. He's gonna link off into Marine says Coral Triangle. And then using Coral and Enemy to be able to get the blue thing. And lastly, he'll go Mandarin to summon. Huh? And then he'll link. Oh, okay. I see what he's doing. Duh, this makes sense. He's going to link into Marine says Crystal Heart. And then he's going to go ahead and link summon into a Link 4. He's going to link summon into Marine says Aqua Argonaut. Now, a lot of a lot of versions of Marine says don't play the Crystal Heart. But in this particular deck, or this particular version... Because he has Battle Ocean on the field, this card is unaffected by card effects, meaning that he loses to a Kaiju. That, that's literally all it says. It's, hey, I, I lose to Kaijus. But <laughs> let's see how Tenjin is going to respond. His three disruptions here with basically one and a half cards. Tenjin is going to start off with Mythical Beast Master Servers, destroying it to get a Jackal King. Then we go Jackal King to be able to special summon Master Servers to Aqua Argonaut points to. Okay. Then Magister of Endamia, we're going to start racking up that counters on Mythical Beast Master Cerberus. This is good. Desires is going to get negated by the Aqua. Yeah, that, that's that's how it rolls. We also get to summon a monster to our side of the field that was equipped to Aqua Argonaut, so that's really good. Master Cerberus will remove counters to be able to get rid of it. No! Why'd you do that? You bag fumbler dingin! Tobias, why you get me against bots? <laughs> like I said, while Marine says Crystal Heart is equipped to Aqua Argonaut, while Battle Ocean is on the field, this card is unaffected by card effects. So that's not going to work here, Big Dog. <laughs> we then go Master and Damien to be able to uh, get counters. Upstart Goblin to get some more counters. Let's see if he can pick up from this bag fumble here. 
He'll then special summon Mythical Beast Jackal King with his Magister of Endamion and then activate Chicken Game. Okay. Chicken Game will get our draw. Oh my god, never punish Mythical Institution. And then Institution can remove counters from the Master Cerberus to search. Oh man, he's going to search. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this might be it. This might be it. We'll go Imperm preemptively on the Jackal. Bitch ass. <laughs> it's all right. Servant of Endamion will summon a Jackal. And then we'll activate another Endamion. Oh, you got so lucky. So Tamayas Impermed. He used infinite impermanence on the Jackal. Because if a monster has counters and then its effect is negated, it loses those counters. If Tamayas or if Tenjin was able to place Endamion into the scale and get enough cards, he can summon the, the Magister or the Endamion mighty magister guy and then destroy destroy like destroy a whole bunch of cards for free so this was smart by tanias good reading we then go marine test wave on the second jackal <laughs> which is gonna make tenjin link summon into electromite here really smart that the trap cards don't you know aren't monster effects he's gonna go electromite to be able to add astrograph sorcerer and then Electromite will get him a draw. Astrograph will get him a summon. So despite Tenjin's uh, mistake, he's still being able to put a decent board on the field. That's going to be Astrograph to get another Endamion. Trying to figure out where does he go from here, though. Endamion then activates to get... Oh, shit, he has seven. Well, then. <laughs> well, then. <laughs> okay. Moment of truth. Tenjin, Okay. So, I, I'm a glue eater, so I got to read this card's effect again, right? You can remove six spell counters from your field, spell summon this card to your pendulum, from your pendulum zone, and then count the number of cards that you can that have a spell counter on it. Destroy up to that many cards on the field, and if you do, place spell cards up to the destruction. So, this is a simultaneous destruction. So, I mean, I guess we could still hit it, but this will protect it. But we, we still, we still, we, we got some boards, right? All right, he's going to choose everything, which is smart. I mean, his monster still gets protected, but we still get to break the board. We'll then go ahead and link summon again into... S oh, Nightmare Unicorn. All right, so... Is it this game? Oh, yeah, because the chicken game. We had to get rid of chicken game first. Okay. So this might not be game. We then link summon into Nightmare Cerberus. Oh, um, Okay. Cerberus effect, discard, destroy the anemone. Ha. Huh. That was a big fumble of the bag. That, what happened, chat? Wait, hold on. I'm trying to figure out why wasn't this card destroyed. But we probably should have... Oh, yeah. Marine says wave. <laughs> that is another thing about this deck. <laughs> If you control a Link 2 or higher Marine Test monster, all face-up monsters you currently control are unaffected by your opponent's card effects. <laughs> Yo, Tension had the board and he's fumbling the bag. Marine Test has so much good built-in protection. Don't make access code talker and try to destroy the same cards, big dog. Moral sword. Okay. All right. <laughs> We're going to go into battle phase. Attack over the Marine Test Aqua Argonaut. Then we attack over the Coral and Enemy. And now Coral and Enemy will get us a Battle Ocean. Coral Sword will attack for 4150. So, not gonna cap. Tension and his Pendulum deck did have game. But, but, that's not always the case in Master Duel. Sometimes you mess up and you fumble the bag, especially when you don't know how good a deck is. Let's see how Tamias is able to beat this board, if he's able to beat this board. All right, Tamayas, three monsters in hand. All right, go Battle Ocean. We then normal summon Pasculus to summon Blue Tang. Blue Tang does Blue Tangs to be able to send Spring Girl, and we link it off. We'll make a Marine says Blue Slug, which will be able to add a Seahorse. No, we'll add the Anemone and then use the Blue Tang. Okay. All right, Tamayas, I'm curious. How are we going to break this board? Ash Blossom, Ash Blossom, Max C. Don't want to see those. We'll then link off again. All right. We're going into a link two. We're going to make Steph Curry Splash God. Okay. 
Using Splash Maid's effect, we'll special summon the Sleepy Maiden, then we'll special summon Sleepy Girl. Okay, so we can make access code talker, no doubt. We'll then link summon into Marine Test Marble Rock. I don't think we're making access code talker. Oh wait, did we we didn't use an enemy, so we're not we're not locked. We'll go Marble Rock to add Seahorse. And then summon Seahorse. We'll link off the Seahorse into a Sea Angel. Okay. Sea Angel will then search us the new Marine Says Dive. This card is phenomenal. Because we have Battle Ocean, we can summon a Marine Says Monster from the deck. We're going to go ahead and summon the Blue Tain and link off with those two again. Now we make the Coral an enemy. All right. So if we use this effect, no access code talker. Oh, no, you jerk. He's then going to go ahead and link with all of his monsters, special summoning back the Battle Ocean into Marita's Great Bubble Reef. And now Battle Ocean will equip to the Bubble Reef and Spring Girl would inflict some damage. <laughs> oh, man. Equipping three. Keep in mind, guys, Battle Ocean is on the field and Crystal Heart is right here. This card is unaffected by card effects and gains 600 attack. He'll then equip another card to his Coral and Enemy, making his monster 52. <laughs> oh, man. Bullsword can't be destroyed by battle, but this ain't looking good. Tenjin does get a monster or a spell power mastery. So it's going to be interesting. As he draws, we'll probably draw for Great Bubble Reef. We'll draw the Maxi. Oh, man. Oh, man. Bullsword will attempt attacking the Bubble Reef. Can I not read? Oh, God, I can't read. It's the switch to defense that gives it. <laughs> I can't read. So he attacks over the bubble and this game gets more interesting. Spell power mastery gets Magister of Endamian. More counters on his institution. Magister of Endamian, then chicken game. This is going down to the wire. He then goes the Servant of Endamian. We're going to use Maxi right here. I know you got a Pendulum Summon. You can go for two. You can go for two. He'll Pendulum Summon his Mythical Beach Jackal and his Endamian Mighty Magister of Magic. That gets us the Ash Blossom. We draw the Cross Out Death. Don't. We lose. How do we? How do we lose? We're going to go ahead and use Chicken Game to draw the Harpies. Feather Duster. Oh my God. Never punish. Duster will destroy all the back row, but how do we break this? Mystical Institution will protect itself. We go Marine says Coral Triangle. Yo, we are pulling off all the stops. If only your opponent controls a monster, you can banish this card. Spell summon a water link monster from your graveyard whose combined link ratings equal exactly three. We're locked in the water though, so. Oh no, he's going to jackal negate. Okay, okay, plan number two, Pasculus effect, that adds, right? We're going to get the Marine says dive, but he has another negate. We'll activate Marine says dive. There's no spell counters. There's no spell counters. We get the Marine says blue tang. Blue tang's effect will send Pasculus. He gets the spell counters a little bit too late. <laughs> we'll link summon into blue slug here. Blue Slug's effect will get Seahorse. Marine says Blue Tang will be able to potentially search. Ash Blossom. Imperm. Cold by the Grave. Never punished, though. Doesn't even matter. We get back the Seahorse. We gotta break this board, guys. We'll link summon into a Link 2. That's gonna be another Coral Anemone. <laughs> and an Anemone special summon Splash Mage. Splash Mage summons again! <laughs> Yo! Tobias just pulled the Link 4 out of his ass! Marine says Wonderheart and the Battle Ocean with Coral and Nidibi. Bro! This game is cracked! Spring Girl sends a card off the top. Anidibi gets the Marine says Wave. We equip three to a Marine says Wonderheart. So, Marine says Wonderheart says, 
Once per battle, during damage calculation, if this card battles, you can special summon one Marine Sense monster card equipped to this card. Also, it cannot be destroyed by battle, and you take no battle damage. That's going to be pretty useful against Boral Sword. Oh my god. Equip that special... Equip that special summon monster to this card during the end phase. And then if it's owner possession destroyed, you can special summon one link through your lower marine test monster from your graveyard. We're going to use Wonderheart to be able to special summon Bubble Reef. Get over the Mian Damien. Bubble Reef, get over the Jackal. And now it's back to Tension. He know he can't get over the Wonderheart. I mean, he could, but it's not going to do what he wants. We're going to Ash Blossom the Mythical Institution. Never punish. Tinjin thinks about it for a moment. What do you got? He's going to try to attack it to the Wonderheart using its effect. Oh, no, 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 no. We got something better. Marine says wave on the Wonderheart's effect. And he's going to negate the monster, my friend. No. No. Wait. 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 Hold on. A new monster was summoned. Tenjin could have decided not to attack. Did he just, did he just off himself? Regard, oh, it's in damage step. <laughs> that is how powerful Marine says is to my five out of five squamatas. I was a little bit worried in the beginning, but uh, you showed us in the end how powerful Marine says could be in Master Duel. The deck is ridiculous.